from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Greg D has your full weather forecast coming up, but first here are your ABC Action News headlines as we start the week statewide. Total COVID-19 cases now stand at just over 663,000. An influential COVID-19 prediction model now shows the number of Americans killed by the virus could double over the next four months. The graph by the University of Washington shows at worst the U.S. could reach 600,000 deaths by January. Researchers say the change in seasons and a lack of vigilance are likely to make December especially deadly. So far, just under 200,000 Americans have died from COVID-19. We're watching the state's COVID-19 website very closely for data on outbreaks in schools and daycares. The state told us Friday that data could come as soon as today. Florida Surgeon General promised to release the numbers, which allow parents and teachers to know when cases are confirmed at their child's school. Since school started in the Bay Area, our team at ABC Action News has been tracking that data for you. After confirming cases with school district officials, we update our interactive map. You can find that on our website in the back to school section. A $100,000 reward now being offered for information about the person who shot two L.A. County Sheriff's deputies. Both deputies are still recovering in the hospital. The suspect ambushed them as they sat in their patrol car. Surveillance video shows the suspect walk right up to their car and point a gun directly at the window. He acted as if he was going to walk past the car and then he made a left turn directly toward the car, raised a pistol and fired several rounds inside of the vehicle, striking both of the sheriff's deputies. The sheriff's office says both deputies had surgery. Both are expected to recover. Turning now to election 2020, the campaign trail making its way back to Tampa this week. Former Vice President Joe Biden will visit Tampa on Tuesday to hold a roundtable discussion with veterans. From there, Biden will go to Kissimmee to attend a Hispanic Heritage event. You now have three weeks left to register to vote in the November general election. We have a link to voter registration and answers about voting by mail and early voting. That's posted for you in abcactionnews.com slash vote. Now here's Greg D with your forecast. Hey there, James. Hello, everybody. We've got Sally out in the Gulf of Mexico, and that is going to continue to influence our weather here in the Bay Area. Uh, the general stronger impacts of the storm moving away, but we are still going to see a lot of cloud cover. That's why you see those temperatures in the 80s for the afternoon. Take a look at the cloud cover forecast, uh, looking at uh, 80, 90, 100% cloud coverage through the afternoon, though there may be some hazy sun peaking out at times as well. If that happens, I do think the chances for rain will go up during the afternoon as we could see some pop-up showers and some thunderstorms, some of which could be strong at times. Updates on the storm right now in the free ABC Action News app.